He's pretty cute. So these are our first eggs that we're collecting from the bioactive enclosures. But there is a little circle around with a dot right there. In this video, I'm about to show you something that we've been working very hard on and something that we're very, very excited about. So, if you've been watching our videos, you have seen a few of me and Liam going out and collecting different materials to set up our bioactive vivariums. Now, if you are observant and you're looking behind me, you will see that we got some of them set up. Stay tuned, hit subscribe so we can check these things out and I think we have a little surprise of collecting some eggs from one of these vivariums. So, thank you for watching another Rose City Reptiles video. Let's get into it. So I would love to know which one is your favorite. So why don't I go through each one really quickly. We're do one through five. You let me know which one is your favorite bioactive enclosure that we have set up. Okay, so now we just took a look at the five new enclosures. I'm gonna give you a second to go ahead, drop down below, leave a comment, hit subscribe while you're down there. Let me give you a moment to do that. Hmm. Okay, now you should be done with that. Thank you for dropping that comment. Now let's go ahead and get into that enclosure and dig out some eggs. Stay tuned. Here's the enclosure. Uh, that has the female that laid the eggs. You may recognize some of these pieces from the videos that had me and Liam collecting items from outside. Um, every single piece was collected from outside. Chanel really wants to be on camera. Say hi. Hi. So, yeah, every single one of these pieces, except for the plants, but all the wood came from outside. Um, but sh this is where she was. She was right over here, so I'm gonna go ahead and look for these eggs now. These are our first eggs that we're collecting from the bioactive enclosures. I am 100% confident I could leave them there and they would hatch just fine. But um, gargles have, a, it's possible that they would eat their babies when they hatch out. And so just for safety reasons for the baby, I'm going to collect them and incubate them. Thank you. 
So here are the eggs. Let's get them set up. All right, we've got the lights turned off, and I'm going to show you what you look for. If the camera can pick it up. Um, it's not super visible, but what you're looking for is a little circle. It usually has a dot in the middle of it. Um, so... I can see it in the egg off camera. It's pretty hard to pick up on camera, but there is a little circle around with a dot right there. And that's what you look for in a fertile egg. So these eggs are good. I candled both of them, and now we're gonna put them in our container. We've got them in our container. We label the lid. These are the ones that were just laid. These ones were laid a month ago. And these ones up here that are bigger were laid two months ago. So. As she's laid six fertile eggs so far this season. She's a great breeder. And now we're going to just put it on the shelf and watch them until they hatch. As I was putting those eggs away, I saw another baby gargoyle hatching, which is always a good sight to see. So let me go ahead and show you this gargoyle. We're going to pull it out and get it set up. Look at this little guy. He was flipped upside down holding onto the lid. Let's see, buddy. Here. Welcome to the world. He's pretty cute. Still needs the shed, so I like to keep it pretty humid. I'll make sure to run the humidifier overnight and tomorrow. And once I get that first shed off, they really don't have any more issues. He is from our white and black female. And he is looking good, a little stripe. Their colors definitely pop a lot more after they shed. All right, and then just their, their baby setup. Just a piece of cork bark. They can go on top or go under. Some fake plants to just provide some more hiding places. And then I use coconut fiber for their substrate unless I see problems and I need to monitor their, monitor them a little closer, then I use paper towels. But typically, they do fine. Here's the container he was in. Here's his egg that he came out of, and his sibling came out of the other one a day ago. It's amazing how they use that little egg tooth and cut their way right out of here. Pretty cool stuff. Now that we collected the eggs, and put that baby away. Let's go ahead and jump right into how we set up these bioactive enclosures. So when putting these together for the gargles, I had a few things in mind. Um, lots of places to climb, hide, and also just meet all of their needs that they have. So what we started off with is the drainage layer. I just used some, some little pebbles. Uh, there's lots of different ways to do drainage layers. Um, the thing that I like about pebbles is that it's cheap. The thing I don't like is that it's heavy. So um, after you, I did the drainage layer, I added this screen. And that keeps your substrate from mixing in with your drainage layer. And I like to come up on each side. You know how you see how it comes up. That way it just helps keep the substrate separate a little bit more. Then I added my substrate. And that was a little bit of everything. Um, I mean, you see, we've got different types of sphagnum moss and little pieces of dead wood, leaves, topsoil. Um, I have charcoal mixed in there. A lot of different things mixed together and then put on top of your screen. So once we got all of our substrate in, then we started putting everything together and I just love how they turn out. I have one more log I'm gonna to add to the back corner of this one, but I mean, they just look great and they're not even grown in yet. You know, these vines are gonna grow up these plants and really just take over and add a ton of coverage, make these geckos feel very secure. And I just love how it's turning out. Look at this girl back there, she's just chilling. It's later in the evening. I usually have the lights off by now, so they're starting to come out and wonder what's going on. These guys are very active uh, during the sunset. It's like as soon as I turn the lights off and in the morning. 
not quite nocturnal like most people think they are but these just look great if you haven't subscribe like this video oh and did you know that subscribing is free so why not do it it's free helps me out lets me know that you're interested and motivates me to keep making more videos so subscribe to this video like it Comment which one of these is your favorite, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.